afternoon everyone welcome to today's video it's currently Sunday here and I'm picking up the camera which feels really weird because I normally do not film on Sundays but I decided I would film today because we are actually gonna be going and doing some fun stuff here in just a little bit if you watched my last grocery haul you'll know that we were supposed to go to the trampoline park on Saturday but Hayden in the middle of the night on Friday slash Saturday um, started having another bout with wheezing and trouble breathing and his heart rate was really elevated so I took him to the emergency room at 1 30 a.m. on Saturday morning and we were back home by 4 30 they gave him a breathing treatment and some steroids and started him on steroids and then he has to go see his regular pediatrician tomorrow um but we're just trying to figure out what's kind of like causing this this is the second time within the last couple of weeks that he's had um the same stuff start up so i feel like it's seasonal allergies um so we've started him on um zyzol again that's something that i give him during um you know all the pollen stuff in the air and stuff like that so he's doing so much better today um that we're still thinking about maybe taking him to the trampoline park he's breathing well his oxygen level because just i watch we can check his oxygen levels and stuff um is showing 99 and you know that's you know decent and then his heart rate has went back down and he seems like he feels a lot better and he was so bummed yesterday when we told him we're not taking him because you know he didn't feel good he really scared me i don't like having to rush my children to the emergency room in the middle of the night but his breathing was just really concerning anyways we're gonna go do that here in just a little bit and then we'll probably stop at cracker barrel to eat dinner but i hope you all are doing well oh i gotta show you guys jeff finished painting our living room he's still working on a couple of things um so you'll see some taping um still up like some trim and things like that he's kind of yeah i don't even know anyway i know he's not he's not completely done so there's some to, so there's some tape still but and there's toys everywhere in the living room what's new okay so this is the color that we chose it is called revere pewter it is the same color that is in my kitchen slash dining area and in the hall and then also i ordered a new side table here off of amazon and we got new lamps so got that lamp and that lamp and um they were on um erica erica from dorset doorsteps last video so i ordered them through her um link and they've got a light, a light in the bottom and a light in the top and the bottom is touch i like that a lot it's got a couple plugs in it and stuff like that but anyway i really like those because i like the style of them and i'm really happy with the paint although there's still some tape like i said but I think that it turned out really, really well. Now I've just got to get somebody to come and repaint my doors. Because they're looking really bad. The kids are so hard on stuff. Also, Jeff did some bartering with some customers. <laughs> he had to go and, I don't know what he did for them, maybe clear their drain or something. But um, we've been looking for a patio set for our back deck. And so he got this set from them. We just had to go buy the pillows from Big Lots. So I'm happy about this. I just need to get some kind of umbrella or covering or something to go over them so the sun doesn't bleach them out. But I'm pretty excited, guys. All right. So anyway, Stevie is sleeping right now, taking her little nap. And then Jeff has went over to his brother's house. He kind of lives in the neighborhood behind us to go help him figure out, I guess, something about his lights weren't on. Um, so I went to go help him with that. So I'm thinking as soon as he gets back and Stevie gets up, we're probably going to head to the trampoline park. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping we're not making a bad decision with Hayden, but I feel like he, he needs some activity too. He can't just sit in the house all the time. So Got some eggs boiling in here on the stove because I was just, do you ever just get in a mood for boiled eggs? Like, I know they're good for you and stuff, but sometimes I just, I just want a boiled egg.
Well, about a week ago, I found myself in the market for a new baby monitor, and here's why. Get you a load of that. <laughs> and does anybody want to take any guesses on how that might have happened? I'm almost 100% sure that Harrison is um, responsible for breaking my baby. I mean, it still works, but it's obviously not very safe to use, I would imagine. So it's so funny, right after that happened, um, I started looking for baby monitors and you know seeing what's out there and stuff like that, because we still need one for CV. And I go in my emails and I, I crap you guys not, there was an email from a company wanting to send me a baby monitor to try. So I got it in the mail and we opened it up a few days ago. So let's take a look. So as you can see, this baby monitor is from a company called Lollipop. What a fun name for a baby monitor company. Also, let's take a moment to talk about this packaging. How beautiful. I think this will make an excellent baby shower gift for someone. I really love the modern high tech look of this baby monitor. It has a long silicone part here that you see. It's able to wrap around your crib or whatever you choose to attach it to. And it can also be set up on a dresser or a table if you choose. And this monitor comes in pink, as you see here, green and blue. I'm really excited about starting to use this monitor. The one that I had was just really antiquated. The quality was starting to get bad. And so it's just nice to have something new. So after you remove the actual monitor from the top here, you will find an instruction card and all of the hardware that comes with your monitor along with the power adapter. It comes with this cute wall mount that kind of resembles a tree branch to wrap the monitor around to secure it to the wall. And as I mentioned before, this is actually your power adapter here that I'm gonna show you in just one second. Here we go. <laughs> And it also comes with this little small pink piece here to help you attach it to your crib. And down on the table there, I didn't really mention, but there are some plastic pieces that you can use to kind of hide your cord or the cables behind the crib. And I think that is an awesome safety feature because who wants their baby playing with cords? <laughs> Not me. And here's a little clip of me putting Stevie to bed. The video streams live to my phone and I have noticed that the night feature is just as clear as the day feature. So that was a bonus. You can also share your live feed with whoever you choose, but those that you share it with are the only ones that are able to access it. So no creepers. It does push a 30 second recording to your phone of any changes as your baby is sleeping, such as crying or heavy movement. I'm really pleased with this monitor, you guys. The quality is amazing. It doesn't drop connectivity like I was kind of concerned that it may. Also, I noticed it has a really good reviews on Amazon. So if you're in the market for a baby monitor, I do recommend this one. And I will go ahead and leave a link down in my description box below for you. All right, we're heading out. I've obviously got my arms full, like every mom. Ready to go? Let's go. My shirt. Wake up. You ready? We're here. Let's go jump. You ready?
we're done here. What do you think? You ready to go? Yes. Yeah? All right, so we stopped at Cracker Barrel to see how long the wait was. It's about 10 to 15 minutes, so we're going to wait with four kids in tow. Waiting is just not fun. So here we are. Did you have any trouble breathing while we were there? You did? Uh -oh. Sorry. You From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. What wonder? How come the trees get undressed when it's cold? And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes? It really makes me wonder. we have made it back home dinner was so good I was such a big girl I ate all of my food was anyone surprised <laughs> sister we ordered sister some macaroni and cheese like a little bowl of macaroni and cheese and she ate yeah. the whole thing she was hungry she was hungry and then she helped me with my pancakes so um, not much is going on this afternoon we're not really doing much of anything else but just trying to get the kids settled down it is um, Sunday night so that means it is it is a school night so we're gonna have to start getting things ready for school tomorrow and then also tomorrow afternoon I've got Hayden an appointment schedule with his pediatrician um, after he gets out of school to um, go follow up with his pediatrician to make sure everything is on the right track for recovery with him Harrison's out here riding his dirt bike a little bit. Go ride a little bit. No, go around it. Go ride your dirt bike a little bit. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out today's video. Like I said, we're not really doing much. Just hanging out, winding down the weekend. And yeah, so I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful week. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all. <laughs>